Great. Uh, thanks very much, Rosa. And um, I don't think I'm going to be too controversial here because um, uh, it sounds like uh, what I'm going to be suggesting is, is very much in keeping with what you've heard uh, this afternoon. Um, so this is really a, a workshop about the different types of snares uh, and, and really just to try and help with the de decision making process. And as we've heard uh, nowadays, um, the snaring that we do, the vast majority is going to be cold snaring just because cold snares are just so safe um, and uh, associated with very, very few uh, complications. And I've got the uh, Boston Captivator cold snare here, but the Diagmed um, Exacto snare is, um, uh, is another excellent alternative. And really what characterizes a, um, a good um, cold snare uh, is the very fine cutting wire. So these things are, the filament is, is tiny, uh, they, uh, and they just cheese wire through the polyps. Um, so that's a cold snare. And with set ulcerated polyps, as demonstrated by Rosa, with um, flat, uh, very flat uh, sessile adenomas, uh, they're perfect. Uh, if it gets too exophytic, then it can be more difficult. Uh, then we have the option of uh, a snare that does both. It's both a hot snare uh, and a cold snare. And um, the snare that we've been uh, demonstrating today uh, this is a Diagmed uh, coin tip snare. Uh, and like uh, all snares, it's got a very prominent uh, little spoke on the end of the snare, and that allows you to pivot the snare, which gives you more control. And what's really nice about this snare is it, it's actually three snares in one. So you have a six millimetre uh, uh, snare, mostly for cold snaring, and then it goes up to a 10 millimetre one, again, potentially for cold snaring and then you, can, you get the full Monty version, uh, which is a 20 millimeter uh, snare, which you can use for hot snaring. And this is perfect when you know you're gonna be coming across a mix of uh, lesions. You've had a CTC, there's five different polyps, all of different sizes, uh, and actually you can, uh, you can use uh, a snare that moves across the polyp ranges. Uh, and again, uh, there are other options uh, av available um, Boston have their own uh, snare and uh, with Olympus, the Snare Master Plus. And then we're gonna go move on potentially to the hot snares. And um, you saw me using the uh, Olympus 20 mm uh, braided snare. And this is probably my kind of workhorse snare and it's, br and it's braided, which means it's really grippy uh, on the polyp. And that's really useful um, for if you've got a very flat lesion that you need to tackle. Uh, you do need to be careful of the tip, that can be quite sharp, uh, and you don't want to cause a perforation with that, so you just need to make sure where you're placing the snare. And really my advice, uh, just as the last thing to say when you're using uh, hot snares, is I try and use the smallest snare I can, uh, because if you use too big a snare, the polyp is knocking around inside the snare, and that can make it more difficult uh, to get a snug fit uh, against the uh, lesion. Thank you very much.